Madeline at the White House, written and illustrated by John Bevelman's Marciano. Madeline at the White House, written and illustrated by John Bevelman's Marciano. In an old white house in Washington, D.C., lived as lonely a girl as there can be. Her name was Miss Penelope Randall, but everyone always called her Candle. On account of a wildly stubborn curl that like a flame would dance and twirl. She needed an appointment to see her father, but he always canceled, so why did she bother? She sat bored and alone at her desk and stool, the only student of the White House school. Secret Service Agent Downs made sure she never left the grounds. But life took a turn for the better when from her mother came a letter. It read, Candle, my dear, sorry to miss Easter again this year, but in my place I've arranged to send the daughter and classmates of a very good friend. Their old house in Paris is covered with vines, and they travel about in two straight lines. Their plane gets in at half past nine. The smallest one is Madeline. Eleven girls were very shy, but Madeline looked her straight in the eye and said to Candle, How do you do? It's very nice to be meeting you. The girls were taken to their quarters. Time to unpack were Miss Clavel's orders. Madeline's bag contained a surprise. A rabbit, or rather, a friend in disguise. Madeline's magician had stowed away to join them for the holiday. The girls all cried, hip, hip, hooray! and went to Candle's room to play. The girls bid good night to their new friend. Candle was sad that it had to end. She went to bed without delay. She could hardly wait for the following day. The White House Easter celebration is the most fun festival in the nation. They hunted Easter eggs at noon, and then they rolled them with a spoon. Ice cream pie and chocolate cake can lead to quite a tummy ache. Madeline asked, would it be all right if I stayed in Candle's room tonight? Miss Clavel weakly nodded yes. Her stomach, too, was in distress. Just go to sleep early. That's a warning. Our plane leaves first thing in the morning. They played dress-up, cards, and had a lark, and told scary stories in the dark. But when the cuckoo sang the hour, the frolicking mood turned quickly sour. 
the night where could it have gone all too soon would come the dawn madeline would soon be leaving oh how candle started grieving the poor girl cried boo hoo why can't i fly away too outside my window the world looks pretty but i've never even seen the city the rabbit took this as his cue a magician knows just what to do he raised his arms like a candelabra and chanted the words abracadabra the rabbit conjured something awesome a magic tide of cherry blossom had two girls ever flown so high up into the starry sky the rising sun erased the moon miss clavel would wake up soon but on and on they tempted fate they were almost home perhaps too late from the hall outside miss clavel knocked and tried the door but it was locked are you there madeline we are in a hurry said miss clavel quite sick with worry agent downs a good bit bolder broke the door open with his shoulder the girls they saw were fast asleep but there was a schedule to keep miss clavel said madeline make haste we haven't any time to waste to say goodbye is always sad but coming home is never bad miss clavel came in that night and checked the girls by candlelight to all the beds she walked around to see the girls were safe and sound then with a smile she closed the door that's all there is there isn't any more